Hi everyone, in this video tutorial, the second part is about threatening of concrete cylinder. This concrete cylinder is depending to compressive test. We will use composite material to for threatening our concrete material and we will see the effect of our composite material to our force maximum of load we will see how to implement our composite material and add to our cylinder composite cylinder concrete and we will use lamina type in our type material of composite we will also see how to add the contact between cylinder com concrete and our composite material let's get started first let's start with creating of our composite sheet that take the cylinder form of our cylinder specimen of, co of concrete let's start create sheet the reformable solid shell let's create shell planner extrusion let's select extrusion click continue and create circle with size of our radius of our composite specimen of our concrete specimen 75 millimeter click click on the depth equal to 300 millimeter the length of our concrete specimen click OK now we have our sheet composite let's go to property module module to assign material material composite to this sheet let's create first sheet material create mechanical city elastic let's select lamina type with new modulus 170 megapascal so in the main direction and also 9000 megapascal in the second direction 0.35 or and 4050 4500 megapascal all all units in our model is are on megapascal and dimensions are in millimeter click ok now let's create composite layer sheet layer layer yeah, let's add the number of layers we need in our model let's take five layers Conventional shell, click continue. First, let's select the region, edit region. We have this cylinder. Now, let's material, edit material. We have composite material. Click OK. Let's add thicknesses of each layer 0.25, for example. OK. Now, angle of rotation of each layer the first one zero third one minus 45 fourth one, 60 millimeter uh, 60 degree for example and 90 degree now let's edit thickness uh, edit integration point to one click ok click Okay, 
now we have a sign composite in our sheet let's first see the directions of our main direction of our layer please talk layer select we have these directions of each layer the zero 45 minus 45 60 and 90 but in which direction we have the main young modulus the main modulus e1 first let's edit our material edit let's take a look out at our directions we have the main direction the reference direction is with in this direction the reference direction but we need the reference direction in this area in the horizontal because we have the load applied in this direction let's make the main direction of our composite material is that direction let's let's change this go to part global called discrete let's select discrete now we have now not real not what we need let's go to create convert and edit select Select the main direction. Let's select surface. Now can't edit. We have this surface. Click OK. And now select edge. Click done, click continue. Now click OK. Let's edit again. Edit. We have the wrong direction. Also in this part, let's let partitionate our part. Yes, save change. Create a home plan. The first one, second one, and the third one. We have the home plan. Create partition using the, the this the home plan. Faces. Use the home plan click click partition now we have partition of our sheet let's go to let's go to edit and this is our layout orientation by editing our edge of direction clicked on we have p1 and n3 click continue click ok edit again and go to now we have the reference one of the main module the reference orientation is in the horizontal direction is and all and also in the direction of our load okay 
we can also use the symmetry calculation option to reduce the number of layer in our specimen if you have any symmetry in our layers this make calculated section symmetric let's let's take a look edit query play stock now we have we have 10 layer in our part sheet let's edit disable makes calculate section symmetry click ok now we have five layer now let's go to assembly module and add this sheet in our part apply okay it's take right position default position in the contact between with our concrete specimen cylinder now let's take a look at the thicknesses of our sheet assembly display option when the shell thicknesses apply let's hide two parts now let's take a look our at our sheet the thicknesses of our sheet with the cylinder concrete apply apply the thicknesses is take and is inside our concrete cylinder let's go to property edit and offset let's select bottom surface click ok click ok let's go to view part display option render sheet sheet or shell thicknesses apply now the thicknesses is starting from the bottom layer click ok let's go to assembly view assembly display option now we have the right thicknesses in our model let's delete this option and enable apply okay now let's go to step we don't need any change in this step interaction let's add perfect interaction between concrete specimen cylinder and our sheet by adding the constraint tie constraint in our contact between sheet and cylinder concrete continue now we need to let's select the outer surface of our concrete cylinder specimen let's replace cylinder replace now we can select the outer surface of this specimen click surface select the surface click done and now we need to choose the secondary surface select sheet replace and now select surface select these two pieces click on now we need to select the inner surface of our shell the purple side purple side we need to is in contact with the outer side of our concrete specimen click on now we have our tie contacts between two parts the sheet composite and concrete cylinder click ok now let's go to load the same load and the same condition boundary condition and also go to mesh
part let's delete the viewport display apply okay but let's I assembly parts let's smash our sheet 10 millimeter inside of elements okay mesh yes assembly let's go to create our job create okay data check after completing our processing we have this result with straining concrete cylinder and we have concrete damage compression in compression stress let's parts cylinder replace we have this damage result and now by comparing this result with with and without composite material threatening we have force exceeded to one one point two times 10 power 6 and is decreased when we compare it with test without compressive without composite materials and that's all things in this video i hope you to enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe in my youtube channel and make like for this video. See you in the next video.